Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I'm Liz Quinn, your star scentsy consultant. So today what I have for you is my weekly what I have been warming, and I do have some new release items here to discuss, and I'm really happy about the things that I've been melting, so let's just dive right on in. So the first thing that I would like to discuss with you is our new garden collection. These are fantastic, and there are three others that had been released last year, previously associated with Disney and the Epcot Flower Show. Those are the Heirloom Rose, the Soft Plumeria, and the Mint Fields, and they are really nice, but I did reviews on those last year, and you've seen me melt those over time. So we're just going to talk about these guys that are brand spanking new, and honestly, as far as a trio goes, in 2024, I think this is my favorite set. So Garden Fresh Gardenia is a nice mix of subtle gardenia and a good amount of sweet fresh greenery like you're out in a garden. And it's really elegant and pretty. It makes me think of maybe the courtyard in an elegant hotel in the south and it's just loveliness. But to compare that to Lush Gardenia, which I also melted on the same day, this is a mixture of greenery and florals, and this is unabashed, creamy gardenia with some tuberose. And if you are fortunate enough to have both of these, do them in alternate warmers. It is the most amazing southern garden paradise you are ever going to encounter. So the lush gardenia, as I already said, this is just straight up very strong gardenia with some tuberose. It always makes me think of a beautifully dressed woman that would be on the silver screen in the 1950s. It's very, very sensual, very almost seductive, but in the most beautiful way, like a very classy perfume with a lot of feminine charm to go with it. Really, really good. So then the next one that's in that trio is Hibiscus Sunset, and I loved this one too. This is much more tropical. This is one where I will probably get a few bars because this will be great in the summertime. It's got pineapple, it has berries. I think there might be some peach in here in the hibiscus. It is really happy, you guys. It's very juicy and fruity, but there are certain summertime fruit and floral mixes that are too saccharin or too pushy. This one for me was exactly what I would want, probably on a nice sunny May or June day, and I'm gonna get some more. But possibly my favorite, and I'm thinking of clubbing this, is the Glorious Grapefruit. This is a nice medium for me, sometimes medium strong scent. I used this in my bedroom, so maybe out in a large open space it would be medium or a little less, but I loved this. I've been waiting for Scentsy to make a grapefruit scent that was either not too sharp or too strong. So this nailed it for me. This is grapefruit, like a nice juicy ruby red grapefruit with orange, and the balance of that was pitch perfect for me. I think I'm gonna throw this in my quarterly club, and I'm just really happy with it. If you compare it to grapefruit sunshine, that one is sharper, and I didn't care for it as much. If you compare it to something like a spiced grapefruit from way back in the day, if you took this and you added winteriness and the spices to it, you'd get that spiced grapefruit, which I miss very much, so this was great. I ordered another bundle of that trio immediately, and I think they are just fantastic. So the next thing to talk about would be the warm review on Sunshine Mango, which is the scent of the month that's coming up in April. And this is a more subtle bar, I will say that. But it's very nice. So if you're looking for something that's fruity but also very low-key, this is really just a subtle, almost like a creamy mango sorbet with a little bit of citrus behind it, and it really only gets to maybe a four in a room, so if you're looking for a super boomer, juicy fruit performance, no, you're not gonna get that. But on a day when you just don't want too much coming at you, or you're more scent sensitive and you find it difficult to get scents into your home for spring that would be fruity, that aren't overwhelming, I think this would be perfect. I'm not sure how it will be received as far as performance, but the scent is very friendly. And I think it would be very company worthy if you were worried about overwhelming people. Now, I finally got around to melting something I've been holding on to since last fall, and that is It's a Small World. This had Persian lime and fruit sugar and apples. This is sweeter than it seemed in the clam, and I did a whole bar of this one night when we had been cooking some things that I just didn't like the after smell and I wasn't quite wanting coconut lemongrass. So I tried this and it was really good. So if you have any more of It's a Small World or you, like me, just put off melting it until spring, I would get that out. It was good for this time of the year. If I had the opportunity to get it again, I might buy one more bar. It's not something I buy a stack of, but it was much better than I thought it would be. 
So then let's get into some of the winterier things because we had some days that were absolutely just snowy, snowy, snowy. Last Friday we got about, I don't know, this much snow and then we finally got our roof put on on Saturday. So my week is more settled this week. I don't have all sorts of crazy going on. My father helped me revamp a closet back here because now that we have these two giant German shepherds, it's been very difficult for, well, truth will be, yeah, he's six. He just turned six this uh, last week, I think. These giant dogs of bag, no, giant bags of dog food have been the bane of my existence. Where do you hide them? Where do you put them? They're just overflowing all over the place all the time. And then you buy some bins, but then the next one comes because I get them shipped from Chewy. And you know, if any of the rest of you have struggles with where you hide things in your home for maybe a specific reason, like your pets, or maybe you're in the child stage where the children are small, but all of their equipment is huge, I would love to even have comments about what are your better solutions for things where you find it challenging, especially if you have a small home, to store awkward things? Anyway, the point is that my dad, who is a retired engineer and can make anything better if you just ask him for help, and he had cataract surgery recently, so he kind of got a new lease on life. At 84, he was having trouble seeing, and I wasn't able to enjoy the same things as I used to with him because he was slowing down. Anyway, he had surgery, his eyesight is so much better, and he's back to being Mr. Fix-It all over the place. So I had him in this closet, and I'd asked him to put some shelves up on one side, and it's just enough. If you could think of the physique of Papa Q Bear from the Berenstein Bears, that's kind of where Daddy is at this point. And he's wedged himself into this closet. I'm like, Dad, you shouldn't have put the shelves in first. He's stuck in there. We, we had the best time. Anyway, so the point is that we put the bags of dog food in a nice organized spot. The shelves fit. We have hooks on the other side now. I've got the dog leashes and because I have shepherds, they have those special collars so that when we're out in public, they behave and all that stuff. That's all where it belongs. So I'm feeling so much better about my house and I have to tackle the basement where all the leftovers that I couldn't deal with up here have gotten dumped down there and all that. Anyway, I'm like five minutes of no sensey going on, but I'm trying to catch you up on my life and telling you that since my kibble is where it belongs, I'm feeling so much better and my roof is on and nothing is leaking and nobody's pounding and tap dancing on my head and I am ready to melt more wax. So let's keep going. Um, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> That was a little bit of TMI, but that's okay. So falling leaves and toasted apple butter I did on one of those snowy days, which was the day where we were supposed to do the roof and they had to postpone it. So this was in our last Bring Back My Bar, and I am loving this. It's a very old bar that I had never heard of until we got it voted back. This is cinnamon, clove, and patchouli. And all of those things together are more subtle and low key than either something like a Simply Patchouli Bar, which was also in this Bring Back My Bar, or a clove and cinnamon. It's just the nicest mix. And since it was so chilly, it was really good. And then I wanted a little bit more bakery spice. So I used toasted apple butter and alternate warmers. I'm not saying it was the perfect combination because the earthy and the butteriness was a little weird, but it worked for me that day. So the toasted apple butter, this is really nice and smooth. It has a lot of cinnamon. Actually, it kind of reminds me of a smoother, more apple version of sticky cinnamon bun. These are both kind of more that vintage, that time period when Sensi produced them years ago. And the heaviness of the cinnamon, if you are not a cinnamon lover, I wonder if as you melt this, you may find it a little heavy. Even for me, I had to turn a couple warmers off over the course of the day and then re-light uh, re, uh, them later and let those melts kind of breathe a little bit more because the two of those together, even for a spiceaholic, this got really heavy, but it was good. So then another day I did St. Nickerdoodle, which was wonderful, absolutely wonderful and very comforting, a little bit lighter than the other day where there was the heaviness of the spice. This is in my club and I know it's supposed to be a Christmas scent, but it's really good bakery for any time of the year that you need something cozy. So then another day when we had nicer weather, I did some spring scents. So sun soaked petals was amazing. I only need like one cube and a warmer, a couple places in the house to use this bar. This is discontinued. I just put this in my top 25 of all time. It's one of my favorite spring scents, but it's sharp and clean and very uplifting. So I, really enjoyed the daffodil. It's got water mint, it's got currant, it's unique, and it, it was just very sunny. And then I was using up most of one of the Valentine's bars, which is called Simply the Zest. I know this had like palm fronds and like citrus and some sort of a tropical fruit. And this was good. And honestly, I looked to see if I could get another bar of this and they've already pulled the Valentine's collection, but this was really nice. If any of you put that in your club, I would say that was a good choice. So then I had a little bit more 
that was just kind of heavy bakery because of the cold. I did some almond croissant, not a lot, but this is just one of my favorites. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. Just the most beautiful, mm, just decadent and delicious bar with a certain amount of almond, little tiny bit of cinnamon sugar, and lots of flaky pastry. One of my absolute favorites that was also, of course, in my top 25 of all time. And then I used some Cozy Kitchen because now I'm getting bars in my club and I wanna get rid of this brick and for the particular day that I tried to warm this, it was a little bit funky because on the front end of this particular scent, it's got this funky oatmeal, which reminds me a little bit of perfect oatmeal. And then it's got this sort of milk and it's got cinnamon and it's got caramel. But as the warm progressed, it went back to being exactly what I liked it to be in the fall. But I'm wondering if this will be better more in the fall and early winter because Judging it by just the one melt that I just had, I might pull that from my club. I'm not going to because I know how much I liked it in the fall and around Christmas time, but something was just not the best for me with that melt that day. So then I've got a couple other things I was doing in bedrooms. I did some sugar, which is just the most beautiful cotton candy and lemon drops. Just very sweet, enjoyable, relaxing scent. Perfect for this time of the year. Really nice. I've got like a, another clam. There's a couple cubes in there that I will typically only melt that in small spaces because I don't have a lot of it. And then I was doing some different vanillas to give you guys some reviews. So Simply Vanilla, which is in my club, this is like the classic. I would compare this the most to French vanilla, like the base of a French vanilla ice cream. It's not ice creamy, but it has that type of vanilla scent. It's just so good, very consistent. Of course, this bar has been sitting in my stash for a long time, so it's nicely cured and just really throws well. And comparing that to what I put in the Florida room, which is the currently available very vanilla, this vanilla is a little sweeter. It's a little more playful. It's a little more marshmallowy. It's a little floatier. And part of that might just be that it hasn't had time to age, but between the two, I would say the Simply Vanilla is a little more classic, and this one's a little more updated with the tonka bean and slightly sweeter. If there's a difference, maybe a more white button-down shirt and a nice lace, sweet, you know, frilly shirt. I don't know how else to describe that, but they're both very nice and very versatile, and I'm really happy that we have that very vanilla now because we haven't had one in the catalog in years. And then last but not least, I did dig out a couple things from Teddy Bees because I will be getting my pre-order, I think it's like mid-April, and I'm getting excited about that again. It's a nice break from the Scentsy. So this is one I hadn't even gotten into from last fall. This is called Kiss Me Goodnight, and I was doing this, I don't know what day I was doing this, I was doing it with something, <laughs> I don't know. And it was just so nice and warm and relaxing. And I know it's more of like a winter kind of a thing, but it's cold here in March right now. So this had cozy cashmere blankets, warm, slightly woody notes, vanilla, hints of plum, hot tea, and warm amber. And it was perfect in my Florida room. I had to put it in several warmers, but it was just really, really nice and soothing. So if you have this in your stash and you're a Teddy Bees person and you haven't tried it, that would be a really good bedtime scent or small child's room or study or something cozy and gentle. So then the same day that I was doing the almond croissant, I really wanted a bakery, but I wanted something that wasn't a scentsy bakery. So the Nutcracker Suite was from last fall winter. What's odd is that there isn't any true nut note in this, even though she named it Nutcracker Sweet. Sugary shortbread cookies, yellow cake, brown sugar, and cinnamon. And it was perfect. And it went very well with the cozy kitchen and the almond croissant. I used a lot more of this because it tends to be a little bit lighter than Scentsy's Bakery in, in a good way. Like there's a richness to this and that was really, really pleasant. So that is pretty much everything that I had been getting through. And like I already told you, uh, we are now pretty much done with round one of home improvements for the year. And now the other thing that will happen in a couple months, but I won't have just come back from a cruise and had a bunch of personal stuff that was crazy and been trying to prepare my taxes and all that all at the same time is that all of our windows will need to be replaced. So that could even end up being a week where I can't film. It just depends on how crazy that is and how long it takes to have men overrunning my house and, you know, cutting holes and everything again. <laughs> but this is Elizabeth with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Let me know what you guys are loving right now. Have any of you ordered that garden bundle? I'm really curious to know if you like it as much as I have. And I did get a shipment in the mail where I have the Mother's Day bars, so I will get first sniffs of the, that up soon too. And I hope that you guys are doing well. God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.